Uh, ooh, we got twins. Let's check these. Let's check. What are you guys? Alrighty, guys. We are back with another episode. And today, we are going to be building a farm. Because I need one. So, I'm talking about eggs. I'm even talking about getting stuff planted. Taming. We are going to do as much as we can this episode. In a short amount of time, so... I kind of think I know what I'm doing, but I really don't. Um, I'm hoping I do. Uh, I think I got an idea here for a dodo coop. Alright, so I got the resources and put this up here before we started again. That takes a long time to get this, but luckily I was stealing from some... What is it? What are they called? Pasturotis beaver dams. So, we actually got quite a bit of stuff out of those. Now, what I want to do here is I want to line that up. The back side, like so. How does that look? That is cockeyed as hell. Let's go from there, there. Okay. Can I pick up this one by chance? I can. I'll still pick up this one. You look way too far back. Can I get this one? I still need this one. So, there we go. This might be a two-part episode. That might actually be what I do with this episode. I make it a two-parter. One. Three. I definitely miscounted big time. So my plan for this is I'm gonna also have some dodos roaming around here for me to chop up for food every now and again. I might even do that with the Ovises here when I set up their uh what was it, fur farm. So it all depends on what we do. I think we should be able to get the dodo coop built. I just need a little bit more there on the fences. I think just two more. I miscounted. I only needed one more and I went and made two more. And I also made ten of these for some reason. So, <clears throat> I'm hoping that these here are tall enough to keep the dodos in. I think they should be. They might be able to glitch out. I'm not sure. But I'm now kind of going with the premise in the space, by the way. Of the best way to get around and only way to get around it is by Sinnoh. Because that's kind of the only way I've been moving here recently is with Sinnohs. So. But yeah. Anyways, I'm going to also show you what I've worked on here inside the house. So I've kind of gotten some sections quartered off here. I'm going to try and turn this area here into a bathroom and a kitchen over here and then living room down here um as like as i told you guys here i'm gonna ha have a workshop in this room and an armory in this room so we'll figure that out but i did kind of do a bedroom already so we got like the bed and i got some storage here for some stuff if i need it like some emergency goodies you know 
Um, but then I also got this little nook I put up here in the window. Um, I just kind of got bored and I thought, what was it? I got bored when I was like looking out here because I got tired of just seeing like a flat plain wall, you know? Like this one over here. I got tired of seeing that. And I'm definitely going to be doing something over here later, but we're working on the farm today. So, but yeah. Like I just got tired of seeing the blank wall there. And then I also did the inverted thing here, which we're going to be doing that a lot today, hopefully. But yeah, I kind of like that. And uh, we might be doing some painting here soon. I hit the wrong button. I ran out of wood. Worst possible time. Luckily, there's like a bunch of trees over there. Yeah, I haven't got. And I got these ones close by. They're starting to respawn. So. As long as we got wood, we should be fine. But now we're working on the next part. Of this. Um. I need. What I'd say. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, then one, two, where's the door? There we go. And yeah. And then we're going to go the thatch for roof. So we're going to go sloped. All right. So we're going to start off here with some pillars up front. Um, some in the back. Too high. Now, if you want to go back around, which I'm probably going to do, and put some pillars on these corners here, you can. If you're copying my build. So, but for now, we're just going to have those up. And here we go. See how this looks with some walls on it. But this thing will look nice. So... Okay. There we go. Eight. There we go. One more. Nope. Wrong button. Good. Now that's a nice coop we got going. Um. I wonder what I need for white paint. I'll show. I'll show you guys what I mean by that here in a second if I'm able to. Uh, I'm basically done with here with the chicken coop, or the dodo coop, but it's a chicken coop, all right. Let's go like that, so that way it's a smooth walk in. Now, let's put these up. These might make it a little bit more harder to get into the hut. Let's make sure we got them equal sides we got a big old overlay yep means that they snap to the back walls like i wanted them to all right we can get in and out of the coop pretty easy so final touches now that is putting down where we're gonna have the dodo sit so we're gonna just have them sitting on benches in here because as you guys know last time I just had them sitting on a, what are they? They're the weird like wooden platforms that you can get. I want to say like they're scaffolding is what they're called. Wood scaffolding or something. So. I can't look straight. Oh, this back one's going to look wonky. I know it because I'm no longer straight. Actually, it doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, so basically we'll have the dodos up on these. You know what I'm actually going to even do? I'm going to just remove that last bench. So we'll have them up on these. Um, Do I want to put another shelf maybe up top for another row? No, I think this should be enough here. So this is just a little bit more fancier, complex design of my dodo coop. Or what am I... Of like the dodo coops I like to use. Um, I usually use like the single tower one. Like you would see in a PvP. To like save space. But we got a lot of space on these platforms. And I didn't realize that when I when I took up like this much. Because I thought like oh this is going to be a big old chunk out of the platform. We still have a lot of it. And we actually have a lot of room in here. I could probably fit my entire workspace in here. I might even be able to get another area built up here. To access above this place. 
So, but yeah, these platforms have a lot of room, so we should be able to get some more fancy designs on there. Alrighty, luckily I did find a spray painter in a drop earlier. So, we are going to see what we got here. So, I did get some white paint. That was actually pretty easy. It's just stem berries, charcoal, water. So, this is what we're going to do. Paint up all of these walls white. Oh, I... Hold up. Oops, I didn't realize that the corner pieces were different on the... Their, uh, what are they called? Paint scheme! Now, hopefully that did paint, right? Oh, we missed one. Oh no! We're falling! Why are we falling? Up, 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 up. There we go, we got it. There we go. Now, I think that's a nice, nice color. Nice color palette so far. What do you guys think? Some white on there on the trim. Um, I want to kind of figure out if I can make the inside white as well because that looks weird. I may as well just do it. Alrighty, so it's region number six. Yay. Alright, now we need to swap to region number five, correct? And we're going to do orange, believe it or not. Oh! 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 It swapped on me. There we go. I'll go back and fix that here in a second. Oh, I guess the window one is different. Okay. But basically, we want the trim. We are going to have to go back around and... I know, this is going to look really wonky in colors, but I think it will look awesome once we have it complete. Trust me. White and orange for the chicken cube. Or dodo. All right. I just feel like it's necessary to start painting the base, you know? It's just something we never did last time. And seeing so the most of the stuff I'm building out of is wood, it goes nice with it. Alrighty. <laughs> I got it done. Um, it stands out, though. You know what? I think that's why I like it a bit. It's the fact that it does stand out so much. A white and orange structure just in the middle of this. I don't, I don't know what we're gonna paint our house, but it's not gonna be this color. We might do, we might do some other colors. Who knows? The fact that we got like options here, cause like the inside and outside option, that that's gonna come in handy. So I just need to figure out all the color regions for pieces, cause yeah. But anyways, this I messed up. I'll figure it out. Now, all I need to do is go and tame up some dodos to throw in this pen. Alrighty, now we are back. I got my two 150 dodos here. They are now 225s because of Thinguin Elixir. Thankfully, that helps us get that extra level out of them. So, what do we need to do? We need to start breeding them. So the way that this farm is going to work is... I can get you guys to come over here. I need to make sure you guys can't jump. Perfect. So, we'll do that. Oh, behavior, enable mating. Enable, behavior, enable mating. Okay, now they're going to start breeding for me. And the first couple ones that we're going to get here, we're going to get one male to throw in the back. Or, well, he's going to be the one male that we throw in the back. So, basically, we're going to get a bunch of other females... But then we're going to get one male to sit out here and wander. I just realized this. I forgot to put up the door. That means I have to figure out color regions on the door. God dang it. Alright, now the door matches. This thing looks so wonky and I even painted the roof white. I don't know why I'm doing this. It just looks awesome. Alright, dodos. Incubating. It's going to take a minute here. So, okay. I'll throw it out. Why'd I pick it up? I don't know. 
Oh yeah, so that way I could move it somewhere where I could see it. Just watch and wait. Alrighty, it should be hatching any second. Three, two, uh. Whoa. What am I trying to find? There we go. You're a male. You're not going to have a lucky life. I ain't going to lie. You came out with 40 health, really? Nice. I didn't even look at the stats of the Dodas. I just went and got two 150 Dodas. I just figured that'd be best. Um, but yeah. Sorry, little buddy, but you ain't going to make it. Because I need females. Alright, so there's one last thing I want to get done today. While those dodos are breeding up, I want to get something, a structure built up for the Fiomias. So, I... What am I out of? Wood, as usual. Alright, so I got an idea of what I want to build, kind of built up in my mind. So, we're just going to go for it. And hope for the best. Okay. I'm just trying to think here of what would look nice. What are we going to be out of? We're going to be out of wood again. Alright, I got more wood. Thatch. Okay. What was I... Okay, that's enough. That's one. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. That we're gonna need eight roofs, and that should be it, I believe, for stuff that we need for this next one. I'm hoping that this looks awesome. It looks, it looks awesome in my head the way I have it planned out. You know, like if you know, like how you visualize something in your head, like before, like you go and like go through finish it like even like a build like Oh my god, was I not recording? Alrighty, I'm not 100% sure if I, like, recorded me putting this together or not. But it's up. We got all that up, but, yeah. This is it, we're gonna have some preserving bins over here, some other stuff. Um, I don't know, we might do a dung beetle thing on this side for the poop but basically like past this and over and like this area i'm gonna try and get some uh farming going but most importantly i'm starting to notice this the only reason i got water is because of the rain i'm not lying that's the only reason i have water is because it's raining um but yeah next episode we're gonna definitely keep on working on the farm I'm gonna get some fiomias gonna get some more like maybe some raptors and terror birds get the next two eggs up and then we'll go for the next couple after that. Um, we'll see what we can do here. I really like the way this scoop turned out. Uh, ooh, we got twins! Let's check these. Let's check. What are you guys? Come on. What are you? Female. Okay. Nice! Alright, that's a good start. That's a good start to our chicken coop. 
Perfect. All right. So now we got those guys going. Got some more eggs popping up. We should be able to get a couple more. Are you the female? No. Wait, why were they behind him and not behind the mother? I guess these are questions that we just don't have to answer. 